Good morning, brothers and sisters. Happy Thursday. <clears throat> Second Betty for a <coughs> little half an hour walk. A bit pressed for time this morning, so I might not have. I don't think I've got time to share me just for today. I'll read it, of course. But I don't think I've time to share it. Um, <coughs> man, it feels nice to be walking back around this particular area. Um, particular area has got a place in my heart. I mean, Kuruk, the motherland, it's where I was born and raised. I had a lot of lot of nice memories around here, but I've already walked past two people's houses that aren't with us anymore. You know, good friends growing up. I mean, one of them was like a brother. Um, we used to tell everybody we were cousins, you know. Um, sad, you know, because it's this disease of addiction, you know, and that's the that's the sad truth about it. You know, it takes people long before their time, and um, you know. <clears throat> The amount of people that I've lost from growing up, you know, is, it, it just amplifies the danger, you know, of taking drugs. Now, I can't take away that in the past, some of the best times in my life have been, you know, in the session with the lads. You know, I can't lie about that. What's the point in lying about that? You know, it was. At the time, I just well, thought that, no, that session was going to go on forever. And some of them did, nearly. <laughs> but, um, you know... The sad truth is, you know, no, no one's too good for the graveyard, and uh, life is certain. Sorry, sorry, life is not certain. Death is certain. Life is not. You know, the graveyard's full of people who are just going to have one last session, and that's the sad truth. Um, it's a disease of addiction. You know, it, it's real, and it's a it's a serial killer. You know, um, very sad thinking about a lot of the people I've lost. Um, but it feels good to be home. It feels good to walk back around here. I feel like I'm one of the lucky ones, you know, I'm still here, you know, and I'm in recovery. You know, I'm making positive steps in the right direction for the right reasons. You know, my session days are now over. You know, you won't see me on another session, boys. You know, I'm done. I've closed the book. Trust me on that, I'm done. I've absolutely no intention on taking any drug again in my entire life, none. No intention whatsoever. Um, I am done with it. Um, ah, it's, you know, sad for mixed emotions this morning actually walking by the mouses because, you know, I have to admit, as a whole, at the minute, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling the best I've ever felt, you know, and that's because of recovery, because I'm clean. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, the best things in life are free. Feeling good is for free. You know, everybody is entitled to feel good. Everybody. Everybody's entitled to recovery. Everybody's entitled to get clean, you know. And I do mean everybody. Um, anyone out there, anyone out there in active addiction, you know, you're not too young. You're not too old. You know, you've never, you know it's, never, it's never a bad time, you know, to go to the rooms. It's never a bad time to go to the meetings. It's never a bad time, you know. To get yourself, in, get yourself into recovery, it's just not. It's always a good time to get in recovery. Um, I'm at court tomorrow um, regarding this fight, you know, and um, I say it's not looking too good, if I'm honest. You know, it is what it is. Um, I put my faith in God and I've got faith in my barrister, you know, and I've got faith in these mitigating circumstances, you know. We'll see how this all pans out. You know, my liberty is definitely, definitely at stake. There's no two ways about that. Um, but we'll see how it goes. You know, I feel good about it. You feel good. You know, I feel good internally about this thing. I feel good internally about a lot of things at the minute. You know, and uh, not thanks to the rooms, the way I handle things, the way I prolong good feelings. You know, you get a good feeling, prolong it. Don't decide that was decent. I mean, put it to bed. No, no. Live in that moment for as long as you can. Ride that good feeling out for as long as you can because it won't take long before it's replaced with a negative one, especially in this world, in this life, you know, there's negativity everywhere. So when you feel positive or you get a positive feeling, prolong it, ride it out, kick the ass out of that feeling because it's worth it. You know, that's what life's all about, feeling good. Feeling good is for free. The best things in life are free and feeling good costs you nothing, you know. Um, I know it's not always easy, but if it wasn't for the place I'm in, if it wasn't for the path I'm on, if it wasn't for recovery, you know, I wouldn't be feeling like this. Um, I owe a lot to the rooms, you know, massive, massive shout out to the fellowship, you know, they've saved us. This is where, this is where I should have always been. This is how I should feel. And 
you know, it's probably going to take a lot longer before I start feeling how I should have actually felt before I ever started taking drugs. You know, them big holes in your brain that are, you know, they've never been entered for years because, you know, they've been, you've been off your nut, you know, and you don't, you don't, your cerebral capacity doesn't, you know, you don't, you don't have access to all these bits of your brain because, you know, you're off your nut, you know, you don't think like you should think, you know, your neurological pathways aren't, you know, what they should be, what they should have been. Um, it's a marvellous thing to feel good, to feel good at the minute. It's brilliant. Um, yeah, I think I'll leave it there. Happy Thursday. Go out and kill it. Uh, don't kill anyone or anything, but uh, definitely go out and make the day your own. You know, uh, gratitude, man. Be grateful, people. All right. Bye-bye for now, brothers and sisters. Cheerio.